Sumbedan Garcia, Genel Genel Salakaya, Chapsu Un Militam Yenatas, Mai Shri, Guru Venu Maha, Ma Om Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prasnaya Bhutai, Shri Makti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine, Namaste Saraswati Deve, Gauravani Pucharine, Nirishesha Sunya Mahadi, Pasyatya De Satarine, Panchakalpata Rubis Jagri Pasindu, Bhai Pacha, Matita Nam Bhavane Vyo, Vaishnava Vyo Namaha Namaha, Jai Sri Krishna Jaitanya Kaduna Kiranda, Sri Advaita Gadakar, Sri Vasadipa Bhakavunda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Um, so, uh, as we uh, mentioned, I think yesterday, the day before, we would like to uh, prepare our minds and our hearts for the appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Some of you may think, well, it's still three weeks away, but that's actually not very far. <laughs> Um, so what we'll do is we'll explore various topics centered around Lord Chaitanya. Um, that will include some prayers by the great souls, bhajans, which are in the form of prayers by the great souls, um, statements about the uh, appearance of Lord Chaitanya coming from different Shastric sources, along with um, um, many, many pastimes about Lord Chaitanya. One of the uh, concerns that I think the preachers in our movement have is that many people who are coming to our movement are from the Indian nationality and uh, they don't have, they don't have the experience or the exposure or the knowledge about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In fact, generally, if you're not Bengali, you generally don't have much information or even knowledge or even know that Lord Chaitanya is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So I think it's very uh, important that we help to bring more of an awareness of Mahaprabhu, who he is, what his mission is, of course, what is our relationship to him, and really how to serve him in this particular age we live in. So I want today, I was thinking, we still have three weeks to go and we'll start to get more and more into the pastimes as time goes on. But today I'll, I'm going to begin by reciting verses, not the actual verses, but maybe the actual translations of um, various types of shastra, shastras that give evidence. For instance, um, we have Bhagavad Purana, which is Srimad Bhagavatam. The Adi Purana, Korma Purana, Garuda Purana, Nishringa Purana, Padma Purana, Narada Purana, Brahma Purana, Vavishya Purana, Agni Purana, Matya Purana, Vayu Purana, Markadeya Purana, Varaha, Varaha Purana, Vamana Purana, Upa Purana, Ananta Samhita, Mahabharata, Atharva Veda, Sama Veda, Chaitanya Upanishads, Chandogya Upanishads, Sveta Svapara Upanishads, and the Purusha Bodhini Upanishads. All of these scriptures uh, give either direct or less direct statements indicating the appearance of Lord Chaitanya. 
And so I'll recite a few, or maybe we'll comment on a few, and then we can open it up for discussion. Um, the first one is, this is from the Adi Purana and the Narada Purana. Uh, Lord Chaitanya speaks, and this is given here, I shall advent in the form of a Brahmin devotee, and I shall hide my factual identity. I shall deliver all the worlds. So we know Lord Chaitanya was born in a Brahmin family. Krishna appeared in the family of Vaishyas. Uh, Lord Ramachandra in the family of Kshatriyas. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the Lord appears in different Varnas, or through different Varnas. He's not of the Varna. He appears just like the sun appears over the eastern horizon. But what is the connection between the sun and the eastern horizon? Nothing really. It's just our way of seeing things. So the Lord will appear in some material way just to make his appearance. And, and sometimes it's more than just that. It's really he kind of works through that material uh, identity to deliver his message. But it's important to understand the Lord never touches the material energy, nor does he have any material qualities, nor is the material energy, nor is the material energy affect him in any way. Although he appears within the material energy, he has nothing to do with the material energy. Uh, the example of Prabhupada would give is just like a governor may visit a prison and the pris prisoners or the inmates in the prison might think that the governor is just another one of them, maybe a little better prisoner. But the governor comes simply to inspect the prison to see how to increase the quality of the inmates' care and various reasons he may come. But and after some time he leaves. So he has nothing personal to do with the epitome. It's all done as a form of service. <clears throat> so the Lord comes as a Brahmana and he exhibits the quality of a Brahmana. He says here, I hide my identity. Prachana Vigraha. Chana means hidden. And Vigraha means form. And then he mentions his mission, I shall deliver all the worlds. So this is the Lord's prediction. He's come to deliver the entire, not only this world, but all material worlds. So then there's the prediction in the Upa Puranas. Lord Sri Krishna speaks to Srila Vyasadeva and he says, O Brahmana, because Krishna is speaking, I occasionally take the sannyas ashram in an attempt to bring the fallen people of Kali Yuga to take up the path of bhakti or devotional service to myself. Mm -hmm. Or Lord Krishna. So here he's speaking to Vyasadeva. And he says, occasionally I take the sannyas. So we know Lord Chaitanya in his middle part of his, and when he was 24 years old, he took the sannyas order of life. And then he practiced um, sannyas, or he practiced his preaching through the sannyas ashram. Why did he do that? Of course, there are many reasons that are known or obvious and there's others that are hidden and one of the reasons was that <clears throat> the lord lord chaitanya's concern or desire is to reach all classes of, of people so he understood that the best way to reach the sannyas sannyasis in that age especially the mayavadi sannyasis, <clears throat> was to appear 
as a Mayavadi sannyasi. <laughs> Not only a sannyasi, but he he wasn't a Mayavadi sannyasi. He was he took sannyas from a Mayavadi sannyasi, Keshava Bharati, but he practiced devotional service. We always say Krishna Prema or Bhakti Yoga. Although in the role of a sanya, uh, Mayavadi sannyasi. And then we know one part of his life <clears throat> where he went to meet, <clears throat> went to the place of Benares. <clears throat> Excuse me. Benares is, Benares is a place where the Mayavadis have a stronghold. It's also the place of Lord Shiva. Benares, its old name is Kashi. Benares, and uh, there is one more name, I think. What is the other name? Kashi, Benares, and oh, Varanasi. Wow. Varanasi. Varanasi. So I think the ancient name is uh, Varanasi, I think. And then Kashi, now it's known as, known as Benares. So the Lord appeared there, and there was a stronghold of 60,000 uh, sannyasis le led by uh, uh, Prakasananta Saraswati, the head of the Mayavadi sannyasis. And we can read about it in two places in the Chaitanya Charitamrita and Adi Lila chapter 7. And again, in Madhulila, there is the discussion between Lord Chaitanya and Prakasananda Saraswati, where the Lord converts the entire 60,000 Mayavadi sannyasis to bhakti. So we see how he did this personally in order to uh, bring the sin Mayavadi sannyasis to Krishna consciousness. Lord Nityananda was an avaduta. He had no connection with any ashram at all. He was acting as, as a carefree sannyasi who was exhibiting ecstatic love for Krishna. But Lord Chaitanya told him, get married. And that way you will be able to reach the uh, grihastas with this message. I'll give you a personal example. Uh, many years ago, and for many years during that time, um, this was back in the 1980s, well, I think. No, no, 90s, around the beginning of the 90s and the late 80s. I was traveling to different colleges and high schools and giving lectures to the students on Krishna consciousness. And that was, I had a regular routine of going to different colleges, uh, connecting with the professors. And it was becoming quite regular for me to visit various colleges and institutions, universities, high schools. What I noticed it was very difficult to get people to become serious about Krishna consciousness. And then one of the reasons I realized is that my lifestyle and their lifestyle was completely opposite. And we saw, I saw this in evidence when some of my Gihasta God brothers, along with their wives, were going to colleges and having very good results in bringing people to Krishna conscious because they had the same lifestyle. Here they were married with families, some of them, and they were speaking to people who had the same goal in mind. Was I was there, I was speaking the philosophy. Many people seemed interested, but they didn't change and become devotees because they saw my, what I represented, it was too far from their, uh, from their desired goals in life. So this was, Lord Chaitanya knew that to preach to certain people, we would have to become like them. Uh, Bhakti Tirtha Swami Maharaj was really uh, 
expert at doing that. He took the stance of various types of uh, teachings in order to reach people on different levels and then interject Krishna consciousness once he got their favor, he got their attention. So it's a tactic. It's simply a preaching tactic. And Lord Chaitanya used it by taking sannyas, encouraging Lord Nityananda to take uh, Grihastha life. And he did that with others in different areas too. Hmm. Here's another verse from another Purana, Korma Purana. The Supreme Person will appear in the first part of the age of Kali, and he will appear in the home of a Brahmana to save the embodied conditioned souls burning in the troubles of Kali Yuga. <coughs> so here it's mentioned, it doesn't really indicate anything about Lord Chaitanya directly but it indicates by characteristics appear in the first part of Kali Yuga and then Lord Chaitanya appeared in after the first, how long was it? Oh, about 4,500 years after Kali Yuga started, Lord Chaitanya appeared and appeared in the home of a Brahmana and he appeared in the age of Kali. So these are the indications in this particular statement. In the Garuda Purana, it says in the first part of the age of Kali, I will come among the Brahmanas to save the fallen souls who are being burned by the troubles of the age of Kali. So that's similar to the previous one, practically the Sanskrit is almost the same with a few slight words changed. So the same thing is mentioned in Garuda Purana. This is an interesting one. This is also from Garuda Purana. I will take birth as the son of Sachi in Navadweep. I will come, come in my complete spiritual form in the first part of Kali Yuga. Mm -hmm. So here he mentions his mother's name, Sachi, Bhavishyami Sachi Sutta, the verse says, and Mayapure Navadvipe uh, in Navadvip Mayapur area. So we know the Lord appeared in the house of Jagannath Mishra and Sachi Mata in the area which we know as Maya Navadvip. But in, within Maya Navadweep, there is a place called Mayapur, and specifically in that particular area, he appeared. It says here in the next, next verse, this was also from the Garuda Purana. In the first part of Kali Yuga, the Supreme Personality of Kam will come in a golden-like form, First, he will become the husband of Lakshmi, Srimati Lakshmi Devi, Lord Chaitanya's first wife. Then he will become a sannyasi near Lord Jagannath, who appeared in a divine wooden form. So in many other indications here, he gets married to Lakshmi Devi. That was his first marriage. Later on, he became married to Vishnu Priya. He will, later, he will take sannyas and then he will go to Jagannath Puri and worship the Lord in his divine form as Lord Jagannath. And his color is golden. The golden form is interesting. I'll just divert a little bit. And it says that um, when C Lord Krishna was speaking to Srimati Radharani, and he told her about his next incarnation on earth. And he described that he wanted to understand her better from her position and he will take her mood of devotion. 
And then when Srimati Radharani heard that he was going to take her mood of devotion, she became alarmed. And she said, oh, you will die. What she was indicating is that the ecstasy that uh, he would feel in her, in her mood would cause him to, to, and we saw it in his pastimes, to fall to the ground, uh, to exhibit various types of ecstatic symptoms that would really hurt his physical form. So Maharani said, if you're going to do that, then I will protect you. I will give you my golden color. So that's why he is called Goranga. Uh, Goranga means Gora, means golden. And Anga means limbs, or his form is golden-like. And it was, the, it was a protective gift coming from Srimati Radharani, who is known as Gurangi. And she is also golden in color. <laughs> so that's um, mentioned in this verse here. In the, Shri, in the Shringa Purana, this is a long one. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, who in the Satya Yuga appeared as half man, half lion, to cure a terrible disease that had ravaged the Daichas, demons, and who in Treta Yuga appeared as a person named Lord Ramachandra, the person who defeated, defeated the ten-headed demon Ravana, and in Dwarpa Yuga removed the earth's burden <clears throat> and protected the cowherd men, of Rajapuri, and that was Krishna himself, will now again appear in Kali Yuga. His form will be golding. He will delight in chanting Lord's holy names, and his name will be Chaitanya. So the Sringa Purana really puts it clear. That same person, it gives evidence that that same person who is the Supreme Lord appearing in different ages now is appearing now as Chaitanya in this Kali Yuga. Because a lot of people, and this is a, not an understatement, many people accept Lord Chaitanya as simply a very elevated personality, maybe an incarnation of the demigods, a great person, but not the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Because the Lord hid his identity in different ways. But here it's described who he is. He is the supreme, same supreme personality of Godhead, who appeared as Lord Nishringadev, Lord Ramachandra, and Lord Krishna. Now he's appearing as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And then in the Padma Purana, which is one of the more advanced of all the Puranas, which is very close to the Srimad Bhagavatam. It says that the Supreme Personality, Janardana, who is the object of the yoga's meditation, who saves the devotees from various sufferings, and who is the master of yogic practices, who is always full of divine transcendental ecstasy and bliss, will event in his own divine form of Sri Chaitanya. <clears throat> so Janardana is simply another name for Krishna, those of you who are from South India, you know, there is a beautiful, I believe it's in Kerala, there's a beautiful temple of Janardana. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, not only a temple, it's a huge compound, a beautiful deity of Janardana. And we had the good opportunity to visit there many years ago and uh, spent much time there. Uh, in the courtyard performing kirtan and having classes and taking darshan. So Janardana is one of the names of the personality of Godhead, who is a Vishnu manifestation of the Lord. That same person as described in Padma Purana will now appear as Sri Chaitanya. The Lord in the same Purana, Padma, says, I shall appear on earth in the first part of Kali Yuga 
in a beautiful place on the bank of the Bhagirati. That's another name for the Ganga. I shall have a golden form and I shall take birth as the son of Sachi. So if people have a problem with Lord Chaitanya as being the Supreme Lord, and all they have to do is refer to these verses and these various Puranas, there are so many verses indicating the appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Um, but when he appears, he doesn't appear as God, he appears as a devotee of God, and therefore people accept that as his identity. But we know that that was just a role he played in order to teach, because they say when you teach <clears throat> from, the per, from, the, from the platform of the student, although you're the teacher and you're teaching from the platform of the student, then you know that people can accept that that teaching is perfect because the master knows what the student should know and then he teaches that in the form of his own activities and words of course okay <clears throat> so i'll read one more and in the narada purana it says oh vipra the lord is speaking in the age of kali he's speaking to narada I will come disguised as a devotee and I will save all the worlds. <laughs> yeah. So he comes in disguise. Yeah. Nityam Prachana Vigraha. His form is eternal, but it is Prachana disguised. <laughs> and he is Bhagavad Bhakta Rupena. He will save all. No, he, he is he's coming as a devotee in the form of a devotee in the loka rakshami sarvada i will save all the worlds <clears throat> so so many indications of lord chaitanya as being the supreme personality of god here and when we go deeper into the 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 words of the shastras we find that he is not only the Supreme Lord, Sri Krishna himself, but he is avatari. He is the source of all other avatars. He's Krishna and Radharani combined. He is the absolute truth in full. When Krishna comes, sometimes he, Radharani also comes, but this time Radharani and Krishna have come in one form. Uh, the mood of Radharani and the identity of Krishna in one form. <laughs> so we'll stop there and uh, see if there's any comments or questions about anything in relationship to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his mission, his appearance, his identity. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances, all the way to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much, Maharaj. This was so interesting to know how different, different Puranas describe the predictions of Lord Chaitanya's appearance. It was very nice, Maharaj. Thank you so much. I, reco I request all the devotees, please go ahead with the questions or comments, Maharaj. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada, all glory to you, Maharaj. Maharaj, thank you very much for the evidence from the scriptures, which helps us to, to, to all to increase the faith uh, with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Maharaj, is there, a, is there a link or a place where there are other uh, evidences mentioned in details from other scriptures as well, apart from what you have mentioned. Is there a consolidated place somewhere where there is a good reference? Well, I've collected this particular text that I have. 
I prefaced my statements by describing the different Puranas that are mentioned. Um, what I spoke was only a small portion of what I have in front of me. Because of the time constraints, I only spoke that much. <clears throat> There's more. There's a lot more. In fact, what I spoke was a small portion. And there is still much more coming. And some of it is even more revealing and more, uh, what we say, yeah, more revealing of Lord Chaitanya. So um, I'm happy to share this text. And it's quite authoritative. Thank you, Maharaj. That would be wonderful. Because I also, at one place, some times ago, somebody showed me Bhavishya Puran. And we were mm -hmm. just going through this in his library. And he was showing me incidents of Keshav Kashmiri there in the Bhavishya Puran. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was all in Sanskrit. But he was saying that these pastimes are also there in different scriptures as well, which also, but I, I mean, that was a couple of years ago. But that also increased my faith because, uh, you know, he was showing me the scriptures where not only the appearance, the, where he would appear, the name of the mother, uh, the wife, but also the pastimes specific were mentioned. So that was very nice. It's interesting you mentioned Bhavishya Purana because that's one of the Puranas that does, it's a lot, a lot of prof, prophecy in that Purana. Out of all the Puranas, I think that is one of the most prophetic. It predicts the appearance of Lord Christ. It, depicts, it, it predicts the appearance of, of Muhammad. Both of them are mentioned in the Bhavishya Purana. Uh, yeah, it's very prophetic, that particular Purana. Uh, yeah, so the more evidence we have, because uh, scripture means, you know, the ultimate principle of authority. Guru speaks on the basis of scripture, and sadhus and saints they live according to that. And so you have the, the knowledge, and then you have the words, and then you have the examples, all of them coming. But scripture is foundational. So you'll see when Prabhupada would quote uh, or speak, he would quote many words from the Shastras to support what he said. And that's important because it gives authority to you know whatever is being said because mm -hmm. anybody can say anything sometimes we find ourselves in positions where people will say something and then we'll ask them where did you get it from and their references are not authoritative or there's no reference at all so it's very it's it's important to back up especially something like this, the appearance of the Lord. For instance, what we have in the world today is that people will say, especially coming from India, they will say that I am an incarnation of the Lord or I'm the Lord himself. And um, so then what do you do? Well, and they can do some magic they can uh, speak something to attract people's minds. Uh, sometimes they attract large followings. But then again, we say, well, where are you mentioned in the Shastras? Because the Shastras will mention the incarnations of the Lord. And if they're not mentioned, we can't re accept them as being bona fide. Yeah. I, ha I have two personal incidents that I, ha I came across, both of them when I was in the New Vrindavan community many years ago, where we were, there was some, a group, a small group of people were visiting our community and passing out leaflets and flyers saying that Kulki Avatar has appeared and he's in Pittsburgh. <laughs> Why he came to Pittsburgh, we don't know. <laughs> And so, um, and then they were inviting the devotees to come to hear his discourses in the evenings. 
So, of course, we all knew that Kalki is not due for another few, thousand, few hundred thousand years. <laughs> and so we were, no, none of the devotees were moved by their, their propaganda. So this happened a few times and finally they gave up coming trying to encourage us. And we told them, we don't think this person who says he, who he is, is bona fide. <laughs> Because Kalki comes to finish off the demons at the end of the Kali Yuga. He doesn't come simply to give lectures. <laughs> he, as Prabhupada said, he doesn't preach. He sits on a white horse and he has a sword in hand and he simply preaches by eliminating the demons. So that was one incident we had. I had another one with a person claiming to be Lord Jesus Christ. That was another one. <laughs> so yeah, it's fashionable or what we say, popular to present themselves in this way. Um, take that uh, avocado and bring it here. Okay, along with the dish. Um, so it's fashionable, yeah, to, you know, speak like if a person can develop mystic powers, and Krishna describes them in the 11th canto, the, the mystic powers, then people will attract people who don't know to come and say, well, I'm God, I'm an incarnation of God, or like that. And that happened a lot in America, especially during the 70s, the same time when Prabhupada was there. And even before, and there was, Prabhupada said, every day there's an incarnation of Krishna coming, <laughs> coming from India to America. <laughs> and they would uh, have their own agendas, whatever it was. They collect a few innocent people who don't know because the Americans, they don't know what to look for and they're easily led by, well, at least at that time, they were easily led by people who have mystic powers. And so they were able to sit, to do their, you know, nonsense. But Prabhupada very carefully, and Prabhupada accepted his um, prana mantra the second part, Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine, Mir Vishesha Sunyavari Pastyatya De Satarine, that he came as a uh, messenger of Saraswati Deve, Bhakti Siddhanta, to the Western worlds to preach Lord Chaitanya's message and destroy uh, Mayavadism, personalism, and uh, voidism. Mm -hmm. Near Vishesha, voidism, Sunyavadi. <coughs> so, yeah. Um, and that's where Prabhupada was very powerful in exposing the cheaters. And there were so many coming at that time. <laughs> and it's always been like that. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati faced the same thing. Bhakti Vinod Thakur faced taste it even more. There's always people claiming to be incarnations, avatars, God himself, you know. So yeah, that's why we need Shastra. Without Shastra, then we, we can't really identify the difference between someone who is genuine and someone who is bogus. <laughs> Thank you, Maharaj. And if you get it in Sanskrit, then you, you're getting the, you're getting it, you know, in its best presentation. Mm -hmm. Thank you.
<laughs> Anyone else? Maharaj, I have another question if it's okay. Of course. Maharaj, um, when I preach uh, to family, friends, and other people, I try to try to come to, for those person to try to establish Krishna as the supreme personality of God and try to make their faith a little bit stronger there. Uh, I, I don't necessarily, in, in fact, I don't uh, speak about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, at all. And at later point only, uh, so I'm very, very reluctant and hesitant. But then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the, you know, most munificent avatar and uh, the mercy is there with him. So shall I, what would be your guidance to preaching with, with those? Should we introduce uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu straight away or... or because well, are they receptive to what you say so far? Yes, about Krishna, yes, they are receptive, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you can speak about the Yuga Dharma, the chanting of the holy names. Then you can explain that Krishna himself personally brought this process of chanting 5,000 years ago in the area of Navadvi. But he came as a hidden incarnation of himself. So it's, it depends how you approach it. If you just come out and speak about Lord Chaitanya, it may not work. But if you describe what's going on and what Lord Chaitanya has presented, it might be easier once you give his presentation of his contribution to actually bring him into it ultimately. Because no one, no one can do, no incarnation can do what Lord Chaitanya did. <laughs> That's why he personally came. Thank you, Maharaj. Yeah, it can't hurt, but it depends how you approach it. I mean, you have to be a little bit, uh, what we say, on how to present it. Oh. Maharaj, there is a question in the chat. Mm -hmm. Archana Siddhi Mataji is asking, Guru Dev Hare Krishna, what is the difference between Upanishads and Puranas? The Upanishads are the, the Vedas itself. They're the Shrutis. Mm -hmm. The four Vedas plus the Upanishads pretty much make up the, the Shrutis or the Vedas. And Puranas, they're also, they're mostly describing what the Shrutis are describing in, in detail. Purana, Purana means old. That's the actual translation of the word Purana. And so you have the Bhagavad Purana, which is the best of all Puranas. And then you have the different Puranas and the modes of there's, there's 18 other Puranas, and then there's Upa Puranas that are smaller Puranas, which are not mentioned so often. So the other 18 Puranas are divided into six, six, and six. Six for them for, to elevate people from the mode of ignorance to the mode of passion. Six to elevate people from the mode of ignorance to the mode of goodness. And six, to elevate people from the mode of goodness to transcendence. So you have six, 18 Puranas to elevate people in the different modes to a higher stage of consciousness. 
So I believe, and I'm pretty sure, that the Puranas are more like the Smriti. Smriti is the commentators or the commentations on the Shrutis. The Shrutis are actually the Vedas itself. So Shruti Smriti Puranadi Pancharachiki Vidi Vidam. And so this is a statement by Sanatana Goswami. So Shruti Smriti and Puranas. Puranas are not actually Smriti, but they're supportive. They're supportive of both the Shruti and the Smriti. The Puranas are just ancient compilations of knowledge spoken by either great souls or by the personality of Godhead himself. Um, for instance, when you read the Srimad Bhagavatam, you hear you come across various pastimes, but you get the essence of the pastime, you don't get the whole pastime. Because the Bhagavatam deals with the essence. Now, if you go to other Puranas, you can find that same pastime with more detail, but not specifically mentioning what's in the Bhagavatam, but either a preface, a preface to what has been mentioned in the Bhagavatam or a follow-up to what is mentioned in the Bhagavatam, like that. So these are the different Puranas. So Puranas fall into a, pretty much a category by themselves. The Purana simply means old. Sometimes they're, they're aligned with the Itihasas, the Itihasas of the history. Puranas also have a lot of history in there. History is mostly Mahabharata, but it's spread out through the Puranas also. So, Gurudev, uh, Puranas were <clears throat> like heard by um, um, by the sages, and they were written down, um, or uh, like they are just smriti. They are just um, like they are just heard and written down somewhere, or it's just like yeah, they, they yeah. Do you see, you have the Narada Purana. Yeah, um, that's one of them, and you have the uh, Korma Purana. You have the, you know, you have the uh, Markandeya Purana, you have the Linga, you have Shiva Purana, like that. So these Puranas focus, are coming from these particular, just like the, what is, what is that one Purana that's really long? It's the longest one of them all. Mm. Mm. Can't think of it. It's the it's the biggest of all the Puranas. Um, uh, it has it has much detail about um, uh, pastimes of Lord Jagannath, and it, it's the uh, well, I can't think of that Purana. It's quite popular. Oh oh yeah, it's the. Um, um, what is that? The son of Shiva is who? Maybe oh. Skanda Purana? Skanda Purana, that's it. The Skanda Purana is the, probably the longest of all Puranas, yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot about, a lot about Jagannath Puri in the Skanda Purana. You'll find immense amount of information on Jagannath Puri. 81,000 verses. How many? 81,000. 80, yeah, 81,000. I thought it was 86,000, but maybe you're right. 81,000. Yeah, that's 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 one of the longest Puranas. So these Puranas are put together by great, great personalities who are self-realized souls. Hmm. And... Uh... Upanishads are, um, I mean, I was thinking about e all this time, like Isho Upanishad is, uh, are they like the teachings, like uh, uh, Gita is also Upanishad. Uh, like, yeah. So are they the teachings pulled out of somewhere? Like, um, Bhagavad Gita is actually Smriti. 
it's not it's not Shruti, but the Upanishads are Shruti. Gita is just called Upanishad. But it's it doesn't fit, it doesn't categorize itself as one of the Upanishads. <clears throat> it's a Shmiti because the Upanishads are actually the Vedas. And these this these are the talks given by the great personalities to their disciples. And that's that's the Vedas itself. Because uh, the word Upanishad is broken down. Upanishad means to sit down near. That's the actual translation of the word sit down near. So transcendental knowledge was departed from guru to disciple as the guru, his disciples would sit and listen to the guru. And that became the Vedas itself. And these are the ancient, ancient teachings. Hmm. Yeah. Even before this particular millennium, I mean, in in another other other millenniums, millennium means creation of the world. So this world is created and destroyed even before the creation of this particular manifestation of the material energy. Because the, the Vedas are eternal. Taini Brahma Idav Adi That Lord Rama, he heard Vedic knowledge from Krishna directly in the heart. Yeah. You can, there's much more research you can do. I mean, the Vedas are so vast. Yeah. You could fill up huge rooms with Vedic knowledge of Vedic books. It's just, we're doing that right now in Calcutta. We started this project of collecting Vedic knowledge from all sources. We have this huge building now that we're filling up with all kinds of scripture knowledge. It's going to be a, it's, it's, it's run by the devotees in ISKCON. And it's a, I forgot the name of the particular, uh, it's given a particular name. It's, uh, and it's just a collection of uh, all, as many scriptures we can come by, either contemporary or ancient. If you get a chance, you can go and visit there. It's amazing what they're doing. Preserving some of the really, really, really old scriptures, stuff that was put on palm leaves, trying to decipher what it's, what was been, been written down, and then recopying it into a more readable form. Mm -hmm. It's a big project. Like that. Yeah, this I have, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I have information on it. And I have some literature describing it. So yeah, you, you, where do you start? That's why Prabhupada gave us the essence with Bhagavad Gita, Trimad Bhagavatam, like that, and the works of the Goswamis, because Lord Chaitanya is the principal teachings that we follow. And all his teachings are taught through the six Goswamis. So Prabhupada explains, if you want to know anything about Lord Chaitanya, you have to go through the Goswamis, especially Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, Jiva Goswami. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very interesting Guru Maharaj. Yeah, when you get into it, you find it's a whole ocean of yeah. interesting knowledge. It's our heritage. Yeah. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare I hope, Krishna. That, hope, hope that helped a little bit. Anyway. Yes, I mean, it is so vast uh, uh, that, I mean, I'm having a hard time reading Prabhupada's books only, so I don't want to get too much into it. But yeah, it, it comes all the time in Prabhupada's books that this Upanishad, that Purana, so just was clarifying. 
Yeah, and there's supportive information. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Gurudev. Hare Krishna. Hare <laughs> Okay, so did we reach our one hour mark? I think we did. Yes, Maharaj. Okay, so we can stop here. Um, I just maybe tomorrow we'll do some more of these readings and, and eventually we'll go on to more and more, we'll go into different areas that's connected with Lord Chaitanya. Sure. Okay, thank you. Thank you so we much. Can end, we can end by chanting one round of japa if the devotees are up to it. Okay. I'm not sure. Does devotees want to chant? Yes, Maharaj. I can't see anybody, so if they say yes, I can hear them. If they say they don't say anything, I don't know. <laughs> yes, Guru Maharaj. Thank you so much. Yes, Guru Maharaj, please. You want to go for a one round of japa? Okay. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Okay. okay, let's see here. Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Srivasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. 
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama Rama. Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari Hari Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari Hari Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. 
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama Hare Hare. Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Thank you for enlightening us on this beautiful Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you for being a very nice host. <laughs> Thank you so much, Maharaj. Thank you. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Maharaj. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you, dear devotees. Hare.